anything you need for Halloween 2019, this is Haunted School. And today guys, um, this is going to be my first review of October. And it is um, going to be quite a traditional first of October review actually, and it is going to be of the, the new Asda life size for this year, and it is the animated skeleton butler. So I picked this guy up yesterday, you've probably seen my walkthrough. This guy is so amazing. Like this year, my store actually had the display model up too, which is um, very, very um, rare for my store to have display models up of these pro of life size pro. Well, they have a lot of the zombie up last year, but um, we haven't seen that since um, Wonder Witch in 2010. So let's give you a look at the butler's box real quick. I also have the last one for my store too. Um, like I did have three of them in stock. When I first went, they flied off the shelves um, within like a couple of hours. A couple of hours, and yesterday they only set it up. So it's going a bit off topic, but let's give you a look at his box. So he costs fifty pounds, which is a real bargain for this guy. And um, the pictures actually talk in the same background as the um, past two props from Asda, which are the pirate and the zombie. It's got a really amazing picture of the butler there. Um, so it also advertising some of the other products I'll be selling this year, like the Skull Candy Bowl, which I also picked up, and the um, Cupcakes, which I'm selling too. Um, but yeah, it's good. this part is um, from the same theme as last year, and um, it says here, Happy Halloween, Animated Skeleton Butler, Beware of the Talking Dead, Greet your guests with a scary surprise, as motion sensors bring our butler back to life. We're a haunting host of Halloween recordings and lights, which is actually um, a bit of false information. Um, this guy doesn't light up, um, he only talks. Um, it's a bit. It's funny because it's actually the same error the, two, the butler in 2009 had on his box. It said his eyes light up, which um, I kind of think they did that just to um, bring that sentimental feature back to the boxes. It's a six feet tall. For more product ranges and information, go to Asta.com. But yeah, this guy is so cool. His box that's, is actually pretty big. So um, I'm pretty sure it's bigger than the zombies box. And um, if you look on the side, got the same pictures on the front. Very cool. Really like how they have been adding these pictures in for the past couple of years. Because I like to store my life sizes with, the, with this side face in the front. Up, up my loft. And, um, Here's the back, and um, basically got the ghost character and the skeleton character from the past couple of years. We've got some information about the product itself, with a 100 day guarantee on it. And on this side, it's basically the same as the front. It shows you the same information there. And on the top, it's basically the same. So, without any further ado, I'm going to get this guy out of the box and show you how to So here is the new skeleton butler, fully set up, and just straight off of that, this guy is so cool. I'm really glad Asda did a new life-size butler as well, because it's um, 10 years since the last one was sold, and this guy really lives up to the expectations that um, I think we've all wanted from a prop for a while at Asda. Um, just give you a quick look at him, but just before I get into a review, I'll just show you, show you um, an item which is quite essential to this product if you want him to look like the original butler um, which was sold at Asda and it is this top hat right here. As you can see it is bald so um, it really will add to him if you put it on him right here. Looks so cool. Um, it's only £4 too, I'll just show you the tag so I really recommend you pick one of them up if you get this butler. And it's also on the display model too and that's really made me want to get one of them. Um, so yeah, let's give you a quick look at his details. So starting off with the head, it's um, actually a pretty big head. Um, it's very well detailed too. It's got all this types of airbrushing and um, different tones to his skull. 
to show how oh, it's old and it's aged quite a lot his school has. And um, let's give you a nice look at his hair. Yeah, um, he's got all that nice brown airbrushing on the tip on the tips. It's like white at the top. It's kind of like pose and stay too, so you can have it um, how you want it. Um, it goes all the way around his head. It isn't like some of those props that where you get the back bit missing. Um, let's give you a look at his eyes. His eyes look really demonic. Like really, he go deep in his eyes do, which is one of my favourite features about this. And um, uh, there's his nose right there. Um, he's got some really nice detail going around this part too. He's got all those little cracks and bumps in it. Um, his teeth are really cool. They've got some nice dents in them. Look very nice. Here's his jaw. His jaw is actually pretty big. Um, all goes up there. And um, yeah, his teeth are really nice detailed around there too. So getting on to his body, um, this guy's actually um, got some nice padding on his back, so he's a bit of a... He's not really hunched over or anything, um, but I've just added that in to make his shoulders a bit more broad. Um, but one of my favourite features about this prop is that his head's on a spring, so it's like a bobble head. So whenever he talks, his jaw knocks into his neck, and it causes it to him wobble around a bit. So it's really cool that is. Um, so starting off with his clothes, he's got this really nice collar going around his neck. Got some nice bits of brownish red um, toned into it. Looks really nice. Um, you have to like sort of pose the collar away from the jaw if you want the jaw to move the best, um, which is what I've did. Um, here's his little bow tie. Looks very nice. His little and his undershirt is very um, well um, painted, or well, not painted, but printed on, as I should say. Um, it's got some really nice um, buttons here, really nice uh, um, that to add in. It's got this um, little um, red bit down here, and which actually relates back to one of the previous so props, which was also sold the same year as the Asda Butler, which was a uh, Phantom Face Ripper. He has the same exact shirt as him, which I really um, like how they added that in. So let's give you a look at his jacket. Jacket's really nice quality, it's very um, sturdy. Um, it won't rip, rip or tear easily um, and here you've got this nice um, light lining going around it um, you've got this you've got the little motion sensor here which is actually a really good sensor um, so it detects quite far away and um, he also he actually isn't sound activated too if you wanted to know um, but yeah this arm, which is um, one of my favourite features about him, is actually a really strong pole. Um, so you can put literally anything on this ball, like any small prop. Um, if you wanted to know, it actually isn't a perfect circle. It's sort of like an oval shape, um, which is still very nice. It can hold a lot on it, actually. Um, I'm just going to show you a prop on it right now, which is my um, Asda Pirate Skull, which I got, um, which was sold about 10 years ago too. And um, if you want to see a bigger prop, um, let's put it on here. Um, it's the um, B&M 2016 um, pumpkin head, which also fits very nice on here. That's quite a sort of like weighty prop. It's got a bit of weight to it. Um, but yeah, it's got his jacket goes all the way down here, and um, under here he's got this really nicely detailed hand. Um, it's sort of out like velcroed on his, his sleeve is, which um, is really cool. Um, as you can see it's got all like, um, like a bony um, kind of like look to it. But yeah, here's his other arm. This arm's uh, sort of like a pose and stay, which it can't hold too much, but could probably um, hold a um, candy bowl or something, or a bucket easily. Um, but yeah, here's his little try me button here. Which um, probably shows that he's made by Magic Power because all the Magic Power props have them buttons. Here's his hand. It's one of my favourite parts about him, this hand is. Um, because of how it looks. It's got some really nice toning in. Like, it actually looks like it's from the butler himself. Because some props these days, um, like the hands are a completely different colour um, to the face itself. Which looks absolutely pathetic. So, I really like how they've um, got that correct. This is a look at the inner side of his hand. We've carried on that detail pretty nice. So getting on to his trousers here, these are actually separate parts to the 
um, Butler, Butler himself, so you have to attack these. Um, he's got some little Velcros in, um, so if you wanted to know where these go, they go around the hit ring. Um, so don't leave them undone, or else his trousers will look too high up. Um, his his um, trousers are this really nice material, same as the jacket. I think it's actually a velvet uh, material that it's made out of. It's got the same base as the 2018 Zombie, which was sold last year, obviously. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, he is very tall, he's, about, oh, he's actually over 6 feet, I'm pretty sure. And um, let's give you a look on his back. And um, you can see he looks very nice from the back, too. Let's undo this Velcro here. Can give you a look at his battery compartment. So it says George, um, Asda's clothing company, and um, you've got a switch which you can do to sensor, or you can do it. You can switch it off. It can, and you can also have it on um, button mode too. He's also got this battery compartment here, which he takes three AA batteries. It's still very nice. So yeah, so just in real quick. So let's give you a quick look at him from a further distance, just to turn the camera around here, just to show you how big he is, um, but he's actually very tall. So yeah, um, without any further ado, I'm going to demonstrate this guy to you, so here we are. Please enjoy your visit, it will be a long one. <laughs> So yeah guys, that's all five of his phrases. I'm going to show you his phrases once more, but I'll show you it with a hat on. It's something in his trace, so you have a good idea of when he's like at a party or something. So, um, here we are. Please enjoy your visit. It will be a long one. <laughs> right this way. Follow me to your doom. So yeah guys, that is the new Asda 2019 Butler, um, pretty much everything for him. And I think in my opinion guys, this is my favourite prop of the year. It's not because um, I have a massive, um, like, I'm a massive fan of the Asda props personally. Um, it's just because um, of what you can do with him. He's got this um, really nice um, strong arm so you can put anything on his tray. His overall detail is amazing, like the hands and the head. His phrases are very um, cool and um, very creepy, and um, everything from just the simple like bobblehead motion and um, the movie mouth um, just really adds to this guy. And the price is fifty pounds, um, so I think this is the best value when um, prop for its money this year. I really recommend you go out and get one because I think these will fly out off the shelves um, really fast. Because my store only just set out yesterday, and um, pretty much all of them went. Um, within the day, um, so I got the last one. So I'm going to rate this guy five out of five as a review, and um, you you won't be disappointed if you pick this guy up, person, in my opinion. Also, yeah, also yeah, again, I'm, I really recommend you pick up this hat because it really does complete his look because he's got quite a bald head, as you can see that. Um, it looks very cool on him. So please tell me your thoughts on this con on this prop in the comments below, guys. Like if you go plan to pick him up and um, everything, or if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. So, um, yeah, a lot of reviews will be coming of the new Asta props. I have picked up pretty much every single one of them. As you can see, I'll just give you a quick sneak peek now. Got the bump and go ghost. Got the doll, the eyeball doorbell. I am gonna pick up the um, pumpkin and the canvas. Um, like um, near the end of this week, I think. So I think it will be. 
And I also got this um, table um, projector, which is actually a Jemmy projector. Um, as you can see, it's very cool. Um, probably sure I won't build or something, but yeah, it's um, Halloween has flew 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 by flew by pretty fast this year. It's already started um, October, as I really can't believe it. Just if you guys want, wanted to know, um, the Haunt build will be starting next week and we'll be start decorating next week. Um, so I'm really excited for that and I can't wait to put this guy in my haunt. Um, so thanks for watching this video, please like, comment and subscribe. And remember, anything you need for Halloween 2019, this is Haunted School.